I truly never believed in soulmates until I met you. I remember getting ready to go for our first date and thinking, wow, what if this could be my future husband? <laughs> After our seven hour first date, I knew there was something special between us. I love how special you make me feel. You make me feel like the most beautiful woman in the world. And I love how you always cherish me and make me smile when I'm feeling down. So quickly you became my best friend and my rock in life. I could not be more excited to take this next chapter of life with you. As I know we go through this life together, I know that there's going to be trials and hard times, but the, I know the connection we share will be able to get us through anything as long as we're together. In all of my childhood dreams that I had, I could have never imagined ending up with someone like you. I don't think I could have had that imagination. I had a crazy imagination, but I couldn't have come up with how special this day is and how special you are. And I am the luckiest man to be with you. And God help me if I ever forget that. <laughs> you are everything to me. And I will put you first before everything. All of my passions and dreams, all of the things that I grew up loving or have discovered or will discover, you're always gonna come first. You've brought me so much joy and have made me feel the way that I should be. Loved, you've loved me so good and you're, <laughs> you're so constant. And you put up with me, especially on my bad days and the days when I'm off or whatever, you're the most patient person I've ever met and I have so much to learn from you. And I can say right here with everyone here with me that I've ever loved, today feels like the first day of my life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> By the virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Lennon, David Vanderdos, and Morgan Elizabeth Kirsten, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy and your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may he bless you to keep sacred the vows you have made. These blessings I evoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You may now kiss each other. <laughs> I was waiting for the moment to arrive Waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for you And I wouldn't miss it for For the first time in public, we have Mr. and Mrs. Lennon Vanderdos. I just wanted to point out 
some things that Morgan has done as such a great example to, to me and all of our siblings. I'm so grateful for her. But she was such a good example of hard, hard work and diligence. And even if we're not knowing exactly what to do, to just, just go for it. And so I just want to toast to Morgan and Lennon. I'm so excited for you to join the family. You are just such a already a wonderful brother. And I can tell you just treat Morgan so incredibly well. So just cheers to them and their future and their future family. <laughs> Something that really stood out to me that um, Lennon said in his, in his vow, he, he talked about how Morgan was a woman that he would never have imagined. And grow, having grown up and seeing the girls that Lennon dated, it's, it's true, you know, I don't think that Lennon really ever <laughs> <laughs> would have imagined someone, someone is, you know, someone with like the unique, wonderful aspects that Morgan has, you know, like, and it's a testament to like how much Lennon has grown as a person. I, I'm just really grateful that you guys found each other because um, I love the happiness that you add to each other's lives and because that makes me so happy.